you know, as far as we like, we believe in it, we just don't, from the size, the economic size of it, we just, we just can't follow it completely. How many have you had, Mark? Well, we've got, uh, we've got uh, just under 200 milk cows, uh, uh, right at 200 beef cows, uh, and then everything in between, I think if, uh, we usually try to take an inventory and we're just under a thousand head of animals. Uh, I'd like to follow up on that a little bit. Um, I hope this is interesting to everybody else, but could you sort of describe like where your milk goes to everybody and what's the marketing system with that? You know what I mean? You, you have 200 milk cows. Right. What happens at milk? What's the structure there? Uh, uh, it goes into a, into a collection tank and, and right now, as far as like uh, our milk, uh, it's picked up every other day and it's shipped into uh, Winston-Salem, North Carolina where it's bottled as, as a pet. Uh, it, if, if I can look at the uh, plant code uh, and it's, it's bottled in a dairy fresh uh, processing. If, you, if you're in food line, it's under the food line brand or the pet brand if you're in at Slaughter's supermarket, it's bottled under the country fresh or the pet pet label. So 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 that's majority of our milk and a majority of the milk that's in the county, it's processed into fluid milk uh, at the present time. Uh, I don't know if uh, the majority of the state of Virginia is, is basically fluid. Mm -hmm. Not to say that uh, some of the milk that's produced in the, in the state and local area doesn't go for cheese or manufacturing or cottage cheese or